The causes of the American Revolution include a number of issues that divided the colonies from England over the course of many years. Between 1754 and 1763, Britain and France fought for control over the Ohio River Valley in the French and Indian War. The war ended with the Treaty of Paris, 1763, which resulted in the end of salutary neglect and the beginning of strictly governing the colonies. Tensions increased with the Proclamation of 1763, which forbid colonists from settling beyond the Appalachian Mountains in an effort to limit their conflicts with Native Americans, as well as to keep colonists in designated areas to allow the government to gain much needed revenue. Britain had accumulated a lot of debt as a result of the French and Indian War. Britain tried to pay off the debt by raising taxes on the colonists. Colonists rejected these with the slogan, No Taxation Without Representation. When British Parliament passed the Stamp Act, the first direct tax on all colonists, a protest group called the Sons of Liberty, was formed. They organized the Committees of Correspondence to keep colonists informed of British aggression. Tensions came to a boiling point when the Sons of Liberty, dressed as Native Americans, destroyed thousands of pounds of tea in Boston Harbor. Britain responded to the Boston Tea Party by passing the Intolerable Acts, which only angered colonists more. Despite the acts and taxes, many colonists were not yet willing to declare independence. In January of 1776, Thomas Paine created a pamphlet entitled Common Sense, which pointed out the absurdity of remaining loyal to England. As a result, by June of 1776, the colonists were ready to declare independence. The Continental Congress appointed a committee of five to write the declaration. However, the primary author was Thomas Jefferson. He borrowed ideas from John Locke, like consent of the governed and natural rights, to craft our official breakup letter to the king. The Declaration of Independence explains the reasons for our separation from England and gives examples of how the king violated the colonists' rights. The Declaration of Independence makes the fight for independence official. The Continental Congress will create a government and strategy that will see the newly formed United States of America through the American Revolutionary War.